Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have an unboxing for you. This is a sneak peek of what is coming to Diamond Art Club tomorrow. Yes, there is a special release and it's Sesame Street. <gasps> I'm so excited. Look at this box. Isn't this so cute? So fun fact, when I was a kid, Elmo was my favorite and my mom used to make an Elmo voice and it was perfect. So this is called Elmo Portrait. It's 23 by 23 with round diamonds. And this would be perfect as a starter kit for someone who's never done diamond painting or maybe uh, a good introduction for younger children. So here on the box we have the instructions. Uh, it tells you what's inside in multiple languages. There's the toolkit contents, I believe. And then you get a picture that shows you the drill area. So it's a full drill diamond painting, which means the whole surface of the painting is covered in diamonds. Okay, no one needed to see me struggle with that. So this is the older toolkit from Diamond Art Club, which is really smart. This is a very basic one, does not come with washi tape or a cover reminder. So it has two plates of heart-shaped wax, a pen, a drill tray, some baggies, multi-placers. It's still more than you need for the, a kit this size anyway. Then we have the diamond painting, which has their logo and their catchphrase, do what makes you sparkle. And let's see, oh, there's even like a little journal sticker. You could put this on the box if you wanted to, but you don't need to because it's already got Elmo on the side, um, but that's cute. So this is by Sesame Workshop. How adorable is this? I love it. Let's go ahead and look. This might be my, my shortest unboxing yet. You know what? No, we'll we'll make the most of it. I'll show you another diamond painting from Di Diamond Art Club here in just a moment. So we open it up and it has their patented really soft velvety canvas. When you take the diamonds out, you'll see that there is still an inventory sheet, but there's only six colors. It's gonna be so nice, so easy, a little snack size painting. But you only need six colors in an image like this. In here we have the diamonds. I'll look at those in just a moment, but look. <gasps> Isn't that adorable? Okay, so here's the instruction sheet. And there's the painting. <gasps> it's so cute. Let me just roll it backwards real fast. I'm going to make sure that it stays flat so that you can see it well. This is a poured glue canvas, just like all of their canvases. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. So in here we have the legend on both sides. Oh, it looks just like a diamond painting, in diamond painter in training kind of kit, doesn't it? It's so cute. Here at the bottom, it does give more licensing information. So, that's so sweet. I'd love to see more of these, especially like the other characters. There's so many characters from Sesame Street. Um, these would make a really cute little gallery wall as well for people who are fans or who might have kids. Uh, this would look so cute in a kid's room, don't you think? I'll show you the diamonds and the canvas itself. There is an AB here. So here we have 606. So if anyone was wondering what Elmo's color in DMC is, it's 606. <laughs> we have 132. Look at how much orange AB we have. So AB is Aurora Borealis and it's that iridescent coating on the drills. It makes them sparkle even more than they already do. We've got 310, of course, for the outline. 38, 27, 5200, and 741. And if we look at the canvas itself, you'll see that the symbol number one, which is all of the background there except for the little dots, 
that's all 80 amazing little tip if you are getting this you are going to want to when you put the wax in your pen you're going to want to touch that freshly waxed up pen tip on your skin just to keep it from being too adhesive or try filling in another section for a little while first and then go back to the ABs. You want to make it uh, a little bit looser or not as as tight as it would be, you know, that suction that holds that the glue, the, the wax or whatever you want to call it, your putty, whatever you're using, you want it to be a little less sticky than it is out of a tin so that it doesn't adhere too much to the diamonds. The AB coating on them is, uh, it's an extra coating. So it will grab onto the glue a lot stronger than the normal diamonds. And that means that it'll be hard to get them off the pen. So my advice is just to kind of use your fingers, you know, tap it off of your skin a little bit, get some of your natural oils onto the pink wax and uh, then try to pick up ABs. I hope that helps anybody out there. I'm gonna go get another kit. Let's let's look at another thing that I've purchased from Diamond Art Club. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for sending this to me to share with everybody. It's so cute. I love Elmo. I'll be right back. So that painting is releasing tomorrow. I'll have more details down in the description box of this video if you wanna check out exactly where and when. This painting is not a new release, but this has been in my wish list for a very, very long time. And after finishing the Christmas, what's it called? Christmas House Mystery Painting, I decided that I should probably get this one too, because uh, I really, really like it. And um, you're probably going to be surprised. This is Christmas at Town Square by Chuck Pinson. Um... I really like this one. Now, this is going to take me a very long time to get to, but I love the warmth that's in this. And when you see it, you'll, you'll see why. But also, this is one of the few Chuck Pinsons that's actually in round drills. It's 71 by 56 centimeters, so it is large. And this is, it's taken me forever to get in there. Okay, all right, we got it. big on the landscapes. I know a lot of you are, uh, but this one in particular has been like literally on my wish list since it came out. Um, so I had to buy it and I bought it a long time ago. I bought a whole big box uh, in the summer. I think they had a, a BOGO sale and it was very unexpected. Was it Labor Day or Memorial Day? Why can I not open things as soon as I put on new ugh, new nails? Okay, sorry. I know some of you are here for the struggle, but I'm really not today. <laughs> All right, so in this bag, we have a bag of baggies, as always. We have our pen and matching pen grip. We have two plates of heart-shaped wax. We have all giraffe washi tape. Then we have a resin tray. This one looks like it's made out of a different material. It's a little bit more cloudy than ones that I've gotten in the past. Maybe they're experimenting with the resin. And then we've got two multi-placers and a cover binder. So that is the toolkit. Just going to pop that to the side and take care of that later. Then we have our sticker and our canvas. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. I love opening these paintings and sharing them with you. This one I did buy with my own money, just in case anybody was wondering. I do still buy diamond paintings. I did not partake in the Black Friday sale or the Cyber Monday sale because I have, I have enough. Okay, here's my diamonds. Look at those colors. Those are really happy colors. I like it. Then I have a thank you and instruction sheet. 
this is the inventory sheet again, the legend, and you can see the full-sized original picture. Look at the puppies. Now this one, this one's from a while back, and you can see that the round drills, the rendering on this is the old style where they had like a, a white circle behind the symbol. So it's going to be hard to see the image. That's the only thing. But I'm sure that because this is an older kit, I'm not surprised by it. But the, if you are new to Diamond Art Club and you're like, wow, this is different than the new release I got, it's just an older version. So we have three AB Diamonds. And I will show you those in just a few minutes. But first, let's go ahead and zoom out and see my set up here <laughs> it's getting dark so fast lately uh, and I don't get a lot of natural light in my room anymore so I have to use all of these studio lights so I apologize for the glare and stuff but here is the canvas wow that's actually really reasonable I'm I'm surprised <laughs> Maybe I've just been getting really big diamond paintings lately, but it's not that bad. It's the same size as the um, the walk in the park one that I did. It's that size. So if we look at the canvas, I'll bring it up to you. It's going to be a little hard to really make out any details. I can see a person, some people. I can see the dogs and there's Santa. We've got presents, oop, come on. Work with me here, please. We've got presents. But you can see here, I think you can tell that there's a lot of confetti. A lot of color changing here. So if you like to hunt and peck, you're gonna love that tree. <laughs> if you decide to get it, I'm gonna have this link down below so you can check it out. If it's still available, I'm honestly, I'm not sure. Let me check. Okay. Yes, it is still available. It's still in stock on the website, which is awesome. Um, wow. So this, this one, I just feel like it was really festive and it's glowy, you know, and it's got those, those lovely feelings. So I'm going to save this for another Christmas in the future and enjoy working on it. So let's go through the diamonds and then we'll see where those AB diamonds go. I'm pretty sure I know <laughs> where they would go. And if I have a picture of a completed version of this kit, I will add it here. Come on down. So first we have 3776, 3853, 3371. We have two bags. 400, 699, 3854, 700, 890, 938, 301. We have two bags. 300, 498, 814, 666, 141. Here's our first AB in the kit. This is a white AB and it has an iridescent coating to the top. 415, 317, 702, 322, 129. Here's a yellow, a light yellow AB. Very pretty. 743, 414, 413, 318, 3837, 703, 803, 334, 550, 321, 742. 915, 327, 133, which is our last AB. This is a red 
orange, like a mixture of red and orange. 917 and 340. So if we look at the canvas, I'll zoom you back out. We look here, number one is the light yellow, and I can see that everywhere that's kind of that it's the same light yellow color all over. So anywhere there's Christmas lights, I see them al along the tops of the buildings here. In some places down in the buildings as well. Here in Santa's beard, over here in the street, there's quite a lot of it down here in the street. Maybe the ground is a little bit wet you know, and it's got the lights uh, reflecting off of the street. It's along here and down the Christmas presents as well, just to give a little bit more emphasis. And then we have number two, which is that reddish orange, which is in the tree. You can see, let me see if I can reach. There's just a few here and there just to kind of add a little bit of sparkle in there. Um, I just saw it here on some of the presents in the bows and along the top here of this present, just like that. Um, let's see, two, two, two. There's some here along this person's head. Maybe they're wearing a hat <laughs> on the top of Santa's hat as well. And I think that's, that's all I can see for now. There might be more of them. And then number three is 141. So that's white AB. That's on, do you remember where I showed you the white or the, sorry, the yellow? It's actually on top of those. So wherever you see yellow, there's white nearby at least. Uh, this is probably snow. We've got it along the top of the garland at the very tippy top of the painting on the top of this garland. Yes, I think it's supposed to represent snow all over the painting. Let's see. Yes, so the white is representing the snow, the yellow is representing the lights, and then we have that reddish orange, which you can see is all of that, all of the presents right there. It's such a beautiful image, I really like it, and I think, I think it'll make a good diamond painting. I'm glad that they made a Chuck Pinson in round uh, because I know that a lot of you really like Chuck Pinson but you don't like square drills all that much. Maybe you should give this one a go. If you're new to Diamond Art Club and you've never purchased from them before, I am an affiliate and I have a discount code for you but you have to have been a new shopper and never shopped at Diamond Art Club before. So you can go down into the description box of the video and you'll see the coo the code. <laughs> the code and if you choose to use it I appreciate it so much I will get a little bit of a commission from those who are using the code but if you've been a long-term member of Diamond Art Club I'm so sorry I don't have a code for you but there are regular sales on Diamond Art Club and check your boxes because every box has a code inside in the instruction booklet so what do you think <laughs> isn't that pretty I, I thought that a lot of you would like it, and I like it too. So one day I hope to work on this. And the Elmo painting is just too cute. So uh, give that a look-see tomorrow when it releases. And if you like this one, you can go ahead and get it right now. Anyhow, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you liked it, you know how to do all the youtube -y things. And I will see you all soon in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.